Good morning, my young world. My name is Jayatma Vikramanayaka, and I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you today. What a privilege it is to be surrounded by young leaders like you, who are so inspirational. All of us here are privileged to have this opportunity, and we must not take it for granted. And believe me, I don't. I was born into a conflict and spent the first 19 years of my life experiencing the horror, the destruction that conflict brings into young people's lives. But I also witnessed the positive power young people can play in peace and reconciliation. For too long, young people have been viewed as a liability when it comes to peace building and reconciliation. We have been cast as perpetrators of violence and victims of violence, but rarely have young people been seen as the active peace builders who you truly are. Times are changing. Two years ago, the United Nations Security Council unanimously adopted a resolution called the Resolution 2250 on Youth Peace and Security. I know when you hear that, you might be thinking, what in the world that means? Well, let me tell you, simplify you. The Resolution 2250 is remarkable. It recognizes for the first time the crucial role of young people in promoting peace and security. The resolution recognizes the immense contributions young people like you give to peace building. It also calls for a larger representation of young women and men in conflict resolution and building peaceful and resilient societies. Specifically, the resolution calls on all countries to strengthen youth rights and participation across five major areas, which you are already working on. One, participation. Two, prevention. Three, protection. Four, partnerships. And five, disengagement and reintegration into society. Next year, my boss, the United Nations Secretary General, will represent and present the findings of the progress study to see where we are in terms of implementing this resolution on the ground. Resolution 2250 is an important step on a long and challenging journey of protecting young people's rights in conflict settings while realizing their potential to be peace builders. In all of this work, we must remember that Sustainable Development Goals represents the best solution for conflict prevention. At, as it has been proven time and time again, there can be no justice without peace and no peace without sustainable development.